Hello all, welcome back. In last session, we have seen how to create different layer, like uh, R, well, layer for R phase, Y phase, and B phase. So by using these layer properties, right now we are going to see how to draw the single phase, uh, sorry, uh, single layer winding for three phase four pole 24 slot induction machine. So this is the example, this is the final outcome. And to draw this, uh, we should know some basics of uh, winding diagram. So let us see uh, one by one some basics and after that we'll go with this diagram. Now, so what we should know uh, before going further uh, for this, first is nothing but the conductor. So everyone is aware about this, the conductor. Suppose this is a conductor. So conductor is nothing but the material which allows the flow of current through it. Then next is a turn. So what is turn? If we are going to connect two conductor to each other, it will form a turn. So this is one turn. And you know that this is conductor one and conductor two. So one turn is equal to two conductor. After this, let us talk about the coil. So if there is a coil which is having n number of turns, so if we are going to give the n number of turns, then it will form a coil. This coil is having two coil side. This one is coil side one. And this is coil side two. Suppose we have to place this coil in slot. So how much slot we require? For one coil, we require at least two slot. So these are the two slots. So we have to place coil to place this coil we require two slot after this let us talk about pole pitch let us take one example suppose this is a motor and it is having 24 number of slots and we have to design it for four pole so let us divide this into four parts pole 1, pole 2, pole 3, and pole 4. So as total number of slots are 24, slots per pole is equal to total number of slots divided by number of poles, which is equal to 6. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6 is nothing but 6 slots is nothing but the pole pitch. So for 24 slot 4 pole motor, 6 is nothing but the pole pitch. Uh, this pole pitch can be calculated in terms of distance also like uh, the perimeter of this circle is pi d. So the pole pitch is equal to, it is generated by tau, it is equal to pi into d divided by p where d is nothing but the diameter of this and p is nothing but the number of pole. So in this way also we can calculate the pole pitch. After this, let us talk about coil span. So if we consider this is a coil, instead of showing number of turns I will show by single line let us assume that this one is having n number of turns this coil side is also having n number of turns n number of conductors so this is coil side 1 and this one is coil side 2 so how to define coil span the distance between two coil side is called as a coil span So as per coil span means there are two types of windings, one is a full pitch and second is a short pitch. 
so in case of full pitch winding this coil span it is equal to the pole pitch that is one pole pitch and in case of short pitch coil span it is less than one pole pitch so in our case we are going to consider full pitch winding only and we will uh, draw the diagram for full pitch so if this is clear let us move further with uh, what is exactly uh, means how exactly uh, we are going to do the winding uh, how to do the corrections what is the sequence and what is the significance of phase in case of winding diagram so with this we will stop here if you are having any queries you may contact me you may comment and please subscribe for further update thank you so much